It's like nothing you've ever had before, though. So. Look at all that flavor. Mmm. I've been threatening to make hot dog soup for a very long time. Jason, that dude's a savant. I mean, he really is. He's really good at developing and curating and crafting a dish that will make people go, huh, I didn't think that that would work, but I can't wait to try it. When I came up to give the soup of the day, it was, they're like, what's the soup of the day? I was, uh, it's hot dog soup. Everyone kind of looked at me like I was crazy and I let them try some and they were like, well, okay, I guess we can get behind this. Clearly doesn't sound like the most appetizing. Most people just think about hot dog water, I guess. I thought I could come up with an actual soup that tasted like the Chicago style hot dog that was good and had all the same flavors. This is very unique. The natural progression after that was, what's the next iconic Chicago sandwich to recreate into a soup? And that was Italian beef. Everybody knows Chicago for the Italian beef. Everybody knows Chicago for the Chicago style hot dog. I think the only thing he hasn't done yet is a pizza soup. Um, stop, we're gonna put that on the list now. <laughs> Ultimately, it's about bringing that culturally relevant Chicago dish to the table in a new and exciting way. My name's Jason Gilmore. I'm the head chef at uh, Cobra Lounge and All Rise Brewing Company. We opened in 2006. We've basically been primarily a music venue for the last 12 to 13 years. All right, Brewing Company opened in 2015. The music venue on one side, the brewery on the other with a shared kitchen with Chef Jason's creations. We're a brew pub at the heart of it when it comes down to the food. I try and make food that's good for drinking beer with, and I like to get Chicago with it, basically. I try and throw a little Chicago flair on everything that I do. Chicago style hot dog is a beef hot dog, yellow mustard, sweet pickle relish, pickle spear, fresh tomato, and celery salt on it. All of those elements go into the soup. Everything but the bun. It's even got a little potato in there because every good hot dog comes with a side of fries, right? It's got all the aspects of a great Chicago style hot dog, but it's also got the aspects of being a great warming soup that you want to continue to eat and you want to come back and have because it's something you know already, but it's a new way to enjoy it. He can take any dish and make it his own. He's able to put a bit of Chicago into everything that he does, and I think he's accomplished that on every level so far. So we're gonna keep rolling the dice and taking some risks and seeing what we come up with. The second that fall weather hits, he starts to craft a dish that reminds you of summer to take yourself out of it for a second. That's his brilliance in the kitchen. Starts getting a little bit colder, everyone starts thinking about soup. It's just a natural progression from hot dog to soup. <laughs>